Welcome back to another food review here on Food Central TV. So last week I was here at Arby's and I came tried out their brand new pork belly smokehouse sandwich and it was perfection. It was amazing. Probably one of the best sandwiches that I've had from a fast food place in a very long time. So if you missed that review, you're missing out, click on it right here. And in that video, I asked to get 150 likes on that video. And if it got that many, I'd come back to Arby's and try out their new dessert, the apple crisp. And you guys did not let me down. I think I got 160 likes as of right now. In the first like two days, it got 100. So thank you guys for all that support. And I was surprised that they actually didn't have any reviews on my feed about this. I was kind of wondering. This came out two years ago. I didn't know that. So I guess that answers my question on why nobody, whew, it's hot. Nobody did a video on this yet. So this was $2.97 with tax. It is a little bit on the smaller side. The whipped cream is kind of melting, but it's really warm and it's gonna be delicious. And on their website, it's described as spiced cinnamon apples and warm vanilla cake topped with streusel, drizzled with caramel and whipped cream topping. I am a really, really big fan of apple crisp, one of my favorite desserts of all time. If I go somewhere and there's apple crisp or anything with apple cinnamon, I'm getting it. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like. The whipped cream has melted and you can see the streusel and the cinnamon on top. It smells delicious, it's warm. Let's try to get a scoop of it if I could show you. Ba boom, man, and that looks delicious. <laughs> I could see the cake and everything. It smells so good. That's some good stuff. So let me show you a close up since I took a few bites of it. You can see the cake at the bottom, the apple, and then the streusel on top. The streusel isn't really crispy. I guess it may have gotten soggy from the whipped cream. So I guess that's probably my fault. But this tastes <laughs> really good. It has a very strong, like, brown sugary cinnamon taste to it. A lot of the brown sugar flavor from the top of the, the crisp. Or should I say streusel. And there's a lot of cake at the bottom. It's really good, really sweet, really moist and soft. You just like melt in my mouth. My only complaint, I just wish there was a little bit more apple in there. I was hoping for probably like 60% apple and then like 40% everything else. And it was kind of like 30% apple and then everything, 70% everything else. But the apple, the streusel, the cinnamon, and the cake all just complement each other very nicely and it's so good. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. It is not the perfect apple crisp. It's not uh, what I think apple crisp would be. It is good. The cake is really good. It just melts in your mouth. The perfect texture. Just, that's probably the best part, I think, of the dessert, in my opinion. Not enough apple. The apple cinnamon did have a nice flavor. The streusel on top didn't stay crispy, but that was probably just my fault for taking too long to do the intro of this video and the whipped cream melted and got it soggy. But overall, it was a very good dessert, a high recommendation for you to go try. If you like apple cinnamon, you like dessert, you like streusel, it's a dang good dessert for a fast food restaurant, but not the best apple crisp, like I said. So don't get your hopes up too much, but it's still very good but thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking right here and also click on any of these other videos while you're at it that's it for me and i'll see you guys next time on my next video connor out